All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. And as you can see, we are finally out in nature up north, finally. And we actually just cooked some um, white bean chicken chili and filmed an entire video, which hopefully you guys saw before this. But uh, but yeah, so we're actually gonna be car camping on our friend's property up here in Empire, right off of M22, like five minutes from Sleeping Bear. And all I can say is I'm just so excited to be up here. We have been stuck in Metro Detroit for like a month and a half since we got back from Escanaba. And just being up here already, breathing in the fresh air. It's like 70 degrees. Well, it was 70 degrees earlier. I've just been pretty much feeling like we've been stuck in Metro Detroit for the past few months because we really, really want to move and buy a house. But we've been trying to buy a house for over a year. You guys saw my update video over a year ago. We were trying to buy a house and we still don't know what we want. So something up here would be absolutely amazing. We have to try to figure out if we can make it work with the business and whatnot. So if we can't live up here yet, we're at least gonna come up here for a few days and soak it up. So like I said, we decided not to go anywhere for sunset. To be honest with you, we just kind of want to sit here, relax, have a fire. And yeah, it's been a long winter and we are so, so excited for car camping. So we're gonna gather up some firewood and just hang out for the night. <laughs> That Walmart saw is doing you well, eh? Yeah, it's those sharp from last year. <laughs> I'll link it in the description if you guys want to check it out. It's actually not bad at all. If you guys haven't seen the video, we actually just made this setup and it worked out super well. We have a huge drawer here for whatever we need and this has just been such a game changer. I wasn't sure how this was gonna work, but it actually worked amazing. So like I said, if you wanna see the video of us cooking chili, I will leave a link in, I think left for link, right? Yeah, left for link. So I'll leave a link in this corner if you wanna watch the video of us cooking the chili. But uh, yeah, so now we have to break this down because unfortunately I'm already seeing mosquitoes. We lit a fire and there's no mosquitoes over here, but when I looked above my car, I actually saw a bunch and it is, what? what's the date today? It is April 5th. April 5th, yikes, all right. It's coming, but I'm ready for warm weather. So we're gonna break this all down and chill by the fire and I guess get the bed ready for sleeping. It's pretty clear right now and I was honestly thinking about possibly going to do some star trails because I haven't done a star trail in like six months and I cannot wait for Milky Way season, but uh, it's actually supposed to rain tonight, like I said. So it's supposed to be cloudy. It's supposed to get cloudy in like 30 minutes, but Currently, it is very clear, but uh, but yeah, Andrew's in the background getting more firewood back there and we are just relaxing. We don't even really care. It's supposed to rain the entire week, but like I said, we just wanted to get up here. I've been really stressed out and haven't really been shooting too much in Detroit and uh, I don't know what it is about being in the city just kind of gives me anxiety and every time we go shooting, I just don't enjoy it like I used to. So just being up here and breathing the fresh air and just sitting by this fire has already completely changed my mood around, so. And one thing I don't really talk about too much on this channel is mental health, but I actually used to suffer from anxiety a lot. Like in high school, it actually, I almost didn't even finish my year of high school because my anxiety got so bad so I haven't really dealt with that in a long time but obviously since the pandemic and everything going on I've been really anxious lately and I think it's because I'm in like a transition period and I just kind of feel like lost I uh, I'm starting to say no to a lot more jobs that I used to do like little one-off jobs and I'm really starting this year to finally try to make my business what I want to be doing and not just shooting a billion things so you guys hopefully will be starting to see that Yes, probably like a hundred worms over here. What? Well, they're like scattered throughout the woods. They're like just slithering around on the ground. Now, like, sit quietly. Do you hear it all over the woods? Mm hmm. There's one right here. The size of that Whoa. thing. Whoa. All right, so another not so glamorous part of car camping is having to go to the bathroom. So I'm not going to go into too much detail because there's probably people that go into more detail. But for number one, well, for both, it, when you have no bathroom in your vehicle or whatever, if you're not in a van, you have to go outside. So it's pretty self-explanatory for number one. Well, for both, you go in the woods and you pack out your trash both ways. And obviously, when you go number two, you, you just dig a hole. So 
yeah, I am going to go back here away from everybody, go to the bathroom. I'm not going to show you that part, but uh, yeah, that's how that's the honest truth about what you do when you go to the bathroom. One of the major reasons I want to get a van is for this specific reason. I want to not be able to get out of the car if we're like parked at Walmart or somewhere. I want to just be able to park somewhere and not have to get out of the vehicle to go to the bathroom. But uh, for now, this works. All right. And just like that, it was that easy and all done. <laughs> All right, so the last few logs are burning and we have to get this ready to sleep in. And the one downside about car camping and especially our setup is there's no room to like lay down in here. So all of those bags and all of that stuff we're gonna put in the front seat. That's the only downside I would say about this setup, but uh, the drawer is an absolute game changer. So yeah, we are gonna put all this stuff in the front and get ready for bed. And so this is not ideal if you're like in the wild or in somewhere where somebody could possibly come up on you. And because we're on somebody's property, I feel comfortable putting all of our stuff like this in the driver's seat. Otherwise, I normally like to have the driver's seat open so that if something were to happen, we were able to get in the car and go in a quick hurry. So that's something to think about, but we could fit everything. Usually we fit everything down there, but today we're actually gonna put our cooler down there. So there's really no room for that. <laughs> and there's the cooler and I think that's it. So yeah, we could definitely fit all of that stuff there, but for the sake of not needing to drive away, we're gonna leave it. And this little SUV tent goes on these back windows. And it's really hard to see right now, but I'll link this in the description because this is seriously a game changer and we could not go car camping without this. So this allows us to crack this window about this low and not allow any bugs or anything to get in. So we're gonna have to crack a window really quick here. I'll tell you when. All right, so once you have everything all set up, it actually came with Velcro that you just attach right there and sticks on it's and so that's, yeah, that keeps it tight. All right, and this is what it looks like while it's on. So this is, a, like, as you can see, this is open right here. But if you open the door, you can see that it has a screen. So you probably would be fine without doing this. But we actually go down in here. And on this side right here, we actually tape it. <laughs> because I do not trust for bugs. I don't trust that they're not gonna come in through there. So as long as we tape that, I actually feel pretty safe. As you can see, we're using painter's tape. So if you're gonna do this yourself, use painter's tape so you don't uh, wreck the paint on your car. But uh, yeah, there we go. We are all set. Also don't use bug spray. <laughs> I can't even say this with a straight face. Okay, well, so there might have been a time when we first started car camping that I sprayed my entire car with bug spray when we were staying, when we were camping in it because I was afraid of bugs getting in. And yeah, that, that actually happened. Don't do that. Do not do that. You, luckily I didn't ruin the paint on my car somehow. I don't know how, but, uh, but yeah, don't do that. All right, so when I went back to the fire, I forgot that we didn't put our camera bags in. So I just added that and that's a little bit more. And obviously we have a lot more gear than most people because we're photographers, both Andrew and I have two big camera bags full of gear. So if we didn't have that, we would probably have so much more room. Another life hack, thanks to Roman for telling us about these, um, are these magnetic lights. So there's magnets right here that obviously stick to metal. So we're gonna put them right there on the car. So when we come in, they're rechargeable LEDs and they're perfect light source. So. So we're gonna put one right there, and then one ooh, right there. And let's see, boom. <laughs> Probably don't need this headlamp anymore, but, uh, but yeah, it gives tons of light, and they're like 10 or 20 bucks. And I'll also link those in the description as well, because it's totally worth it. But uh, all right, it's time to change and get in here for the night. So it can be easier to get in from the back or the side. For me, it's easier to get in from the back because I can just put my feet or my shoes at the bottom there. And, uh, oh, oh, my back is killing me. So this feels amazing. All right, your turn to get in now. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, probably a pro tip to change while you're out there, but, uh, Oh my gosh, I have stuff all over my pants. I am exhausted. I guess really the last step to this whole process is this fan, a little portable charger. 
and there it is as you can see it's already blue and blowing cool air in my face and I could fall asleep just sitting here like this so oh. all right as you can see, we I don't use sleeping bags. I don't like to be restricted. I don't like having my legs tucked in. I have to have my legs like in and out all night. Um, so I just use like a regular comforter. It's a, not a, even down, it's just, it's cheap. And this has lasted me in 30 degree weather. So uh, what's the temperature today? It is 58 degrees right now. So me used to say it's perfect car camping weather. Almost a little bit warm for me at night, to be honest. <sighs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, yeah, that's going to be it for tonight. And we are going to go to sleep. So we are going to turn off these lights and go to bed. Uh, you probably can't see me anymore, but good night. Well, good morning. I uh, I s actually slept really amazing. It uh, I had to go to the bathroom, and, and that's one thing about car camping that stinks is having to get out of the car in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. But uh, that's what I had to do. Andrew's in there. How you feeling? He's still sleeping. Mm -hmm. You were just awake. And I know it was supposed to rain, but it didn't rain. I mean, I can see some dark dark skies over there, but like 8 30 9 o'clock so we're gonna hopefully try to get him up all right so he's up and at it and it's time to make some coffee now and then we met up with our friend noah who lives in the area and he showed us around a couple of spots and i was seriously blown away with how hilly it looked this is Glen Lake in Glen Arbor, and I've driven this stretch so many times, but I've never really noticed the typography until today. It's crazy how much more you can see in the spring before all the trees bloom. Noah took us to a local spot to get some to-go food before we headed into Sleeping Bear to hike Pyramid Point. If you guys have never been to Sleeping Bear, I highly suggest checking it out. It was actually like 80 degrees this day and it seriously felt like summer being able to hike in a t-shirt. We couldn't have asked for better weather. I have no idea if that's 